Rectal examination is much more than just inserting a finger and tap on the prostate. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will explain to you how I do a DRE and what I pay attention to. This is a video for urology residents mainly, but I have a notion that there is a broader audience on YouTube for this topic. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I am a board-certified urologist. Before we start, let's do a warm-up exercise. I want you to take your right hand and let it rest on the mouse of your computer. Now you aim at the small YouTube logo in the right hand corner of your screen. Hover over it and then press your right index finger gently down. Now you move your mouse to these two symbols and do the same. Great! For the digital rectal examination or DRE, I need a glove and some examination jelly. Since I am right-handed, the patient is lying on his left side with the legs drawn towards his chest. First, I assess sphincter tone. There are a lot of variations and already here I get a first impression about the pelvic floor. In some patients, it is very weak. Others can crack walnuts with it. The patient is then contracting and relaxing the sphincter, which is another test for pelvic floor functionality. Upon cough, the sphincter should contract. In some patients, I test the bulbocavernosus reflex. When squeezing the glands of the penis, the sphincter should contract. Don't ask me who found out about it. Next step is the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor muscle tone is assessed by palpation 360 degrees. In some patients, trigger points are possible. These are spots in the musculature which hurt when I press on them with a the finger. Before I focus on the prostate, I evaluate the anus and rectum for possible tumors. When all of this is cleared, then I palpate the prostate. I find prostate size very tricky, because the organ comes in different shapes and I have to say, I don't trust my finger on size. Therefore, I always measure prostate size by transrectal ultrasound. Prostate tissue is quite elastic. Firm or even hard areas and palpable nodules may be suggestive of cancer. This part is also tricky because there are benign conditions of the prostate which resemble cancer upon palpation. But together with the prostate-specific antigen, the diagnostic accuracy improves. However, in rare cases, luckily, PSA is not reliable. Therefore, DRE is important in prostate cancer diagnosis. I know that many of you will be asking themselves, who in the world would choose urology as a specialty? If you ask me, there are far more challenging areas to work in, like colorectal surgery. Sometimes dermatology isn't particularly yummy either. At the end of the day, it's my job and I got used to it. Somebody has to do it. Do the patients enjoy the examination? No, I can't say they do. Most of them are glad when it's over. And this video is over too. You may relax now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.